fucking 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 the first time we went over there was when we went to have a little snoop on the Stone Roses, wasn't it? And yeah. the night you drove the Combine Harvester yeah. over there yeah. in the middle of the night, just we were going, let's what the f are they up to? Because they hadn't been doing anything for years, and we sort of got off this. And I'm on about a proper Combine proper Harvester, big one, ones yeah. that you got to get ladders up to, and it's like miles, it's higher than that fucking roof. And he f starts it in one go, and off we f go, crawling, Irish, Irish blood. crawling down the road with the big skip it about lights on. It looked like. Look bonkers, and then we Warren. drove it into the thing, turned the lights off, and we ah. rolled over like some out of the professionals. And ah. dun, 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 dun. over the edge, and then we Three. pops up, and we could hear some Three. bass line and drums going on. And then we kind of hid, and then I think, I don't think we got caught, didn't we? And they brought I us in, didn't I, we? I don't think we brought the uh, combine out. We didn't bring the combine out, yeah, we left it there. It's a yeah, and then I think we got right, caught by someone, and we went in, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. And had a little chat with Ian Brown. And a few people, and they were playing some songs and stuff, and I think you might have had a spliff and that, and then I think we f got it, got it. Off. It, 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 yeah, it felt mega. It was like, you know, it was like, that's what you sort of read about. You go, yeah, this is what we f all about, this yeah. rock and roll, man. I remember that really quick session, a song after song, you know, it's just. That's because there was like loads of pubs in town that we heard that were good, you know what I mean? It was like, get in there and f smash it out, and then f pub. pub. For some, we just loved being in the pub. Did you ever work? carry on doing stuff when you got back from the pub at night. Yeah, you'd have a go. You'd have a go, but it'd be f You'd sound like the Poles. Dad. Everyone wanted to make the songs the best they could, you know, I know what to do it to, and if that breeded a bit of f competition, then so be it, you know what I mean? But it was, uh, I didn't want to go in there and be better than Bone and no. all, better than Gwigs or, but I just wanted to go and be better than me, you know what I mean? I just wanted to go and do my thing, and if, I just wanted to, when I heard them putting the songs on, I go, right, this <laughs> tune needs a banging vocal, so hopefully I can deliver it, you know what I mean? How long did it take you to record the vocal for one? Not long because the f party was happy hours. Friday night, wasn't it? So I've been in the town. Oh yeah. Probably had a couple of lagers, but I bought a remote control car, right? Proper, you know, big fat wheels on it. And next thing I'm looking out the lounge and I see Noel sat up on a wall, loads of microphones around him outside with an acoustic guitar. And I was like, what the f are you doing, student? And he's trying, I mean, he's trying to catch the atmosphere, you know, the birds singing and all that stuff. So I was like, I'm getting him. So I got this car and I'm like, I'm having this. <laughs> I was like, right, got it in first gear. Man. Vroom, so his car's like, vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> can see no head like in his headphones. Like, what the f is that noise? Sort of bird you know what I mean? Fucking, 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 fucking,